Well, hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge, back once again with another custom bind video and another Valiant Deluxe Hardcover Custom. As usual, for size comparison purposes, I've grabbed Harbinger Wars 2. Another non-standard cover now I come to think about it. And the one we're talking about today is Harbinger Renegade. Size comparison purposes, as we can see, this is exactly the same size as the Deluxe Edition. As mentioned previously during the Generation Zero video, um, this actually is much more in keeping with kind of the conventional design as opposed to the post DMG purchase design as we can see here. Uh, let's have a quick look there. Exactly the same height as we can see. Um, yes, the spine doesn't quite follow this pattern, but what? Sue me. Um, in terms of back image, I've just gone for a single splash image here because making something like this was just really complicated and I didn't want to do it. Um, yeah. Let's move our size comparison out of the way and have a chat about Harbinger Renegade. So this is the image I've gone for, um, which I think is the um, it's a cover of a particular issue. We'll get to it in there. And then in terms of the spine, I wasn't loving the purple, but it was just easiest to do the purple. Um, and then we have Harbinger Renegade, just another image from another cover there. In terms of the inside flaps, we've got Impact Font, and this is the blurb taken from the first trade paperback. And this is the blurb taken from the second trade paperback. Um, I've gone for standard purple throughout so just kind of match the spine um it's okay it's okay like i say i'm not a professional graphic designer so making these dust jackets or designing them is quite tricky so let's have a look underneath the dust jacket right let's go let's dive straight into it this contains two particular um trade paperbacks the first one is the judgment of solomon which is harbinger renegade trade paperback one that has the first four issues of harbinger renegade as we can see here and then we just dive straight into it. As ever, just showing up how well this has turned out. I mean, just oh, the um, the quality of the printing, the binding, the paper. Ah, yeah, this is Peter Stanchek off doing his thing, hence the image from the back. Um, ah, here we are. I told you I got that image from somewhere. I got it from here. So there we go. Um, the Bleeding Monk, one of the many, many Valiant Monks. Uh, right, and here we are. Slightly tight binding, but I mean, that's fine. That's the nature of these things. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's turned up really, really well. Uh, Harbinger issue four. I think the cover of the dust jacket was from issue five. Oh no, it's from the trade. So this is called Massacre, Harbinger Renegade. And this is the cover, as you can see. Now, the first thing I just want to point out is that it was criminal that there wasn't a collection of this as a deluxe edition hardcover because this is such an impactful and important event in terms of what happens with Harbingers. And in fact, this whole series is such an impactful and important series, let alone what happens in the Massacre trade paperback, that it's staggering this wasn't collected. I'd, I'd understand it if they just stopped collecting at this point, but what they did in an idiotic move and I blame DMG Entertainment for this, is they then collected Harbinger Wars 2, which is the direct sequel to this event and references all the things that happen in this event. Look at that, by the way. Look at this. Look at this sloppy binding on the official, on the official hardcover. I might get that fixed one day. Anyway, um, so it's criminal that this wasn't wasn't um, released as a hardcover, especially given they released the things that follow on directly from this. I'm not going to give any spoilers other than to say that it's amazing. Um, this contains uh, issues 5, 6, 7, uh, 8 and 0. A couple of these issues really don't go anywhere in the sense that they set things up that were never really followed through. And I think, again, that comes down to the fact that there's a very clear narrative idea of what was happening and then Valiant got sold out and it went to DMG Entertainment, and lots of the underlying plot threads and plans and things kind of all just got derailed into what became increasingly mediocre stories. But yeah, let's have a look at this. Um, this is the second trade paperback, looking brilliant. Oh yeah. This issue, very surreal, and doesn't really fit in anywhere else, and I was always really curious to know where this was going to go, and it never really went anywhere. Um, I'm going to flick through this really quickly, because I don't want there to be any spoilers, other than just to say, it's amazing. Um, and that takes us to, you can just get a quick glimpse of the artwork, it's all really good, clearly. That takes us to the gallery, which we have here, again taken from both trade paperbacks. Um, and that's it, that's it. Like, how good does this look? How official, how legit, how very much like a deluxe edition hardcover does this look? Um, don't act like you're not impressed. Don't act like you're not jealous. 
Um, I'm impressed by this, and I made it, and I own it. And I'm still astonished at how well this has turned out. Um, the binding on this is really nice. Um, it's better than the official Harbinger Wars 2 binding, I can tell you that for damn sure. Um, so yeah, here we have it, that's it. Um, really glad I have this on my shelf, and as we just saw, it completely fits in terms of um, height and width and sort of formatting and design and stuff. So, what I'm going to do, apologies for the quick flick through, but I'm really cautious about showing any spoilers, which I really don't want to do, because this... This series, Harbing a Renegade, is full of so many jaw-dropping moments that it just feels silly to so I just spoil it for anyone. Um, all right, let's get that dust jacket back on. Let's get our comparison volume here. Harbinger Wars 2. Officially made. Weird design. Not very good, good binding. I really need to get this fixed, but this is mine. This is the custom. Hope you enjoyed looking at it. Um... Time for the almost obligatory thirst trap moment of uh, shelving it on the shelf. And here we have it, the shelf again. Again, there's the gap. Uh, next to Generation Zero from last time. Several of you did point out last time um, that you could see Harbinger Renegade next to it and you were excited to see that. So hopefully this video has been good. And here it is. Let's stick this in there. Oh. All right, okay. Oof. So we have a sideways shot. Let's have a sideways shot. Oh, there you go. There you go. Was it good for you? All right, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. As always, please follow me on Twitter at I am Thomas Judge, where I will post uh, a daily review of whatever comics I've been reading. If you get an idea of what I'm up to on the channel. Um, and as always, please support the channel by heading over to Amazon.com and checking out my prose novel about superheroes. It's a completely original piece of work. The first episode in it is called Arrivals, and the series as a whole is called No Gods or Kings. You can find an excerpt of that on my website, nogodsorkings.com. Until next time, everybody, stay classy.